Hello, this is Tammy from Crafty Bug again. I've been seeing a lot of people on my plastic canvas groups that just don't, they just don't know how to do some of the stitches. So I thought I would start doing some videos and show you. First, we have the continental stitch or tent stitch. To me, they are exactly the same and you work them the same. So you may see it called continental in one pattern and you may see it called tent in another. So, it's really the same thing though. So I will try to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. Let's move this up out of the way so you can see. You just take your piece and you'll come up at one with your yarn. And, well, and then you can pull it through like I did. That is why it is important to hold the back. And I try to use my finger and just hold it in place. But you come up at one and go down at two. And then I come up at one. And I'm also stitching over my back, the tail at the same time, and anchoring it into place so I won't keep pulling it out. The same thing up at one and then down at two. Up at one is the bottom, and then down at two. And this will be the most common stitch you will see in a plastic canvas that I have found. Up at one, and down at two. Then when you get ready to work your way back, let's say your pattern says for the green to come over here, you're still going to do it the same as you would if it was right here. You're going to come up at one and go down at two. And see, you're still anchoring your tail in place and you're still following the pattern. You're still coming up at one and going down at two. And that is how you will work the continental or tent stitch and you'll just keep going We'll come back and show you how to drop down one more time. Up at one, and then down at two, and then you've got to drop down. So the same thing, you'll just come up at one, the next row down, and down at two. And you'll just keep working this for as many stitches as your pattern calls for. So I hope that helps and maybe even shows you how to weave in your end so you don't have to do that at the end. And there you go, continental stitch or tent stitch. Thanks for watching.